Once you have imported the horizontal and vertical alignment, you may want to create a profile to view the vertical. You may do so by selecting the horizontal alignment, hovering over this selected alignment, and selecting the second option, which is Open Profile Model. Once you select that option, you may notice a prompt at the bottom left of MicroStation stating Select or Open View. We will open View 3 and Data Point. When the view displays the profile, you may notice that the vertical alignment is displaying in white. If we go and select the vertical alignment, hover over that vertical and selecting the first option, which is Properties, we will notice that there is no feature definition defined for the vertical alignment. We may use the drop-down list to navigate to a feature definition We will select Propose Horizontal Alignment. If we deselect the vertical, we will notice that it is still in white. If we go to the Project Explorer and look for that feature definition, Proposed Horizontal Alignment, and go to Properties. This is where we will look to see what style is associated to that feature definition. Notice that the native style is proposed horizontal alignment, so we will now return to the native product and make edits to that style by going to Tools Style Manager, search for the proposed horizontal alignment style, and edit. If we go to the Geometry Feature folder and select the Lines folder, there is a Symbology option under the folder. If we go and edit that symbology, we will notice that the profile line is not initialized. We can make changes by double clicking and in our case we will make the element red. We will place it on the level proposed horizontal alignment and we will keep the weight and line style at zero. Select OK and hit apply. If we go move on to the arcs, we will notice that the same issue has occurred where the profile line is not initialized. We can make edits to this as well. And if we had any spirals, we can make edits there too. After we have made these changes in the Edit Style dialog and we hit Apply and Close, we'll notice that the vertical alignment is still shown in white. If we select the vertical alignment and go back to properties, we will need to toggle between two feature definitions, deselect the alignment, and notice that the changes have been made.